this is going to be an instructional video on how to make a relatively inexpensive Christmas gift that you can give to folks who are in your office or for families, uh, just a fun gift. Uh, items you're going to need, Andy's chocolates, I got these at Target. Uh, you can also get them at Family Dollar. You need the kind that's in a bag. And then a variety of festive holiday type chocolates, a hot glue gun. I use um, Marinelli's apple cider. We can also do sparkling grape juice. You could do champagne, just anything with a nice festive looking bottle. Royal Dance tins, and there are other tins, but I use these, got these at Target. And then uh, Office Max green file folders, uh, any green folder will do, uh, or construction paper. And it's also helpful to have an Able Assistant. Hello, Able Assistant. Hello. To create the cone that goes around the cider, you take the file folders and you draw circles that start about six inches off the file folder to make about an eight inch swath of paper. I've got one laid out here. So once you have the cone shaped paper cut out, you create a cone shape. You take the sleeves of paper, apply some hot glue, bring them around a bottle. And you'll use those to hang the leaves later. Next, you take the bottle of cider and you glue it to the tin of cookies. And I put three or four daubs on here. This is mostly just to keep into place. After we're all done, we're going to wrap the whole thing. Kind of holds it all together, but it works well. I usually put a couple daubs on the outside as well. Let them cool before you start applying the cones. So once the bottles are affixed to the tins of cookies, then I put a couple of daubs of hot glue on and then glue the cones down to give yourself a nice base to work from. So this is a great thing for people to work on from ages 4 to 94. I'm 5! Oh, wait. From 5 to 95. I'm 94. Oh, sorry. From 5 to 94. After you get all the trees glued onto their bases and the cones on Bottles top of juice, yeah. then individually tape on the Andes candies about a half an inch apart. We use three rows here. Oh. You can see my production crew working. Uh, sometimes there's more chocolate in a mouth than there is on a tree. But uh, you just go around three times, building the outside of the tree. Then, once you're finished putting on all of the Andes to make the tree, you take the other chocolates that you get, and you fill in to make them look like ornaments. And we use small hot glue guns for that. Guaranteed to burn your fingers. And this is what the tree looks like before it's wrapped in cellophane. Once the trees are finished, they're ready for wrapping. To wrap, we use cellophane that we purchased from Michael's. Measure a length, the circumference of the tins, to start. Once you have the cellophane cut to length, you begin by gluing it to the bottom of a tree. I set the tree up on a little pedestal. This is clearly the least effective part of the whole process. And I'll show you the finished product in a moment. So this doesn't show up very well, but I've begun by gluing one spot on the tree, the cellophane on the base of the tree, and then I'll wrap it around and show you as I go along. Again, this is kind of hard to see, but I've glued the saran wrap all the way around the base of the tree, and then I'll pull it up in just a moment. Once the cellophane is wrapped around the uh, tree, you pull it up vertically, just like this, and then make a ribbon to tie it off on the top to finish the tree. And there we have it.